What's up gamers, gamers, and gamers? My name is John, and welcome back to Pokemon Academy Live Redo. Last time, basically, we were chasing our freaking little bag, and we got ourselves a little bit of our old pet Shadow, aka Pikachu. And uh, pretty much Torino got shocked and everyone else too, except us. And now we're gonna see if we can outrun the security right now. So let's get back to the story. So, so what's the, um, <clears throat> So what? What's it? Um, so what is the? What is the? Uh, wait. What's? What's this? What this is? What? What? What is with cause? What is this thing? I uh, all call. Uh, <laughs> so this is what's causing all the commotion. Young man, is that your Pokemon? Y yes, sir. He is. Young man, allowing your Pokemon to roam free freely roam. The residence hall is one thing, but endangering the students and faculty in this hall. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you and your Pokemon to come with me to the office. Hey, hold up. What's the big deal? Pikachu was just trying to find a walk up, like any normal Pokemon would. Weren't you guys the one chasing him around all of. Oh, <clears throat> hey, there you go, sir. You know, he's got my bag. Chasing him. <clears throat> chasing him all around all over the place and spooking him? Of course, he's gonna shock a couple of people. Besides, a walk-up already said he didn't know no Pikachu was here. Shouldn't you guys have known when you checked your luggage and done something about it? Uh, well, uh, that is... Well, uh, I suppose we could let this one slide. But don't let me catch you with him scampering around in the halls again. Yes, sir. Alright, now start heading back to your rooms. It's getting close to curfew. Awesome! <sighs> Thanks for the save, Torino. <laughs> Don't worry, Batty. Oh man, I almost forgot. We gotta head back to uh, pick our electives. You're right. Let's head back before we get busted for staying past curfew. Transition. All right, cool. All right, we slide. We good, man. We still get to keep uh, Shadow. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. When he decided to follow you, I couldn't help myself to bring to stop him. Oh, so you knew, so you just let him. I meant, I meant to call you, but I didn't think the airplanes get a reception when uh, they're in the air. Oh, that's cool. We get a little fun. Oh, wow. That's actually cool, man. Like, look at that. That's a wow. All right. Then, what about after I landed? Well, by the time I remember, I figured you already found him. In fact, I was more surprised that you didn't call me first. Ah, uh, Mom. You're lucky my roommate was there to cover for me or I would have been in big trouble oh how is your roommate is he a nice boy where is he from where does he look what does he look like I'll tell you about Torino tomorrow I still have uh, some stuff to sort out before heading out to bed getting ready for uh, the first day of classes on Monday and all that oh of course good night my beloved challenger talk to you tomorrow <laughs> I'm ready, let's rock! Which two types of electives will you choose? There are 18 known Pokemon types. I have to decide carefully which t um, type should be my elective for this year. I uh, I remember from last time from what I picked. I really love, because I love uh, the environment, dude. You always gotta protect uh, things you love. We gotta take care of this planet, man. I'm just saying it, like, for the... It's just saying, man. The Earth is one. So, of course, I love flying, so, and breathes in the air. Should I go with flying as an elective? Yes. And also, water, man, because it's all around us. One more to go. And water. Should I go with water as an elective? Yes. You selected flying and water as your type electives. What did you pick, Awaga? Hmm? Flying and water? Ah, I choose electric and rock. We won't be in the same class. I was really close to picking flying, too. But who knows, maybe we'll be in the same homeroom class. Uh-huh. Anywho, I think we're done for today, right? I think we earned a good night's sleep. Agreed. You ready to go to bed, Shadow? Aw. Hey, Shadow, that's a walk-up's bed. Oh, by the way, uh, where's my... Wh where's this Pokeball? Oh, uh, I don't use it. He feels left out when I keep him in there. Ah, then where does he sleep? Right here with me. Is that weird? And you won't get randomly shocked in the middle of the night? Oh, we get a nice little background music. That is kind of weird, at least to me. 
but you'll know what's best for uh, best since he, he's your Pokemon. Time for bed, though. Good night, walk up and Shadow. Night, Torino. Let's get some sleep, Shadow. We got plenty of things to do uh, <clears throat> to do this weekend before class starts. Pika P. Didn't even say it that time. <sighs> oh, cool! We got a night a nighttime uh, visual. Oh, I didn't even know there was a Pokeball there. That's cool. All right. Mm. I don't feel un as uneasy when I first got here. I didn't want to think of think about it, but I think I was really scared of being here all by myself. Being so far away from home, away from everything I grew up with, but I don't have to do that any anymore. With Shadow here with me, I really think I could do this. Aw, transition. Oh, Pokemon po <laughs> transition. Nice. Pokemon Academy, oh, that better not be it. That better not be it. Oh. Okay, Pokemon fan game. Oh, visual. Down. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if I should just skip this. This is pretty good. Wow, okay. They really outdid themselves with their effects. Original uh, concept Visual Jack. Ah, <laughs> Blue Leaf. Uh, oh, right to so. Oh! To get a okay. It looks like. May. Uh, 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 okay. Leaf Riders uh, DMG. I don't fucking know. I can't. Alright. Alright! Wow! Oh, to read it. Uh, oh, all of them. Aw. Oh. Hmm. Wow, they. Oh, bro. is that supposed to be Brock? May of... Demo. 1.3. <laughs> Yo, this is dope. I'm not gonna lie. This is dope. Oh, shit. April 5th. Year 1. Wow. Wow. Okay, that, that actually surprised me. I don't know if I... I don't know. Year one, Monday, April 5th, 5th. Oh, I'm probably blocking it, to be honest. You guys probably can't see it. Hold on, let me let me switch cameras. There you go, guys, so you can see that if you want, I don't know. It's finally the first day of classes. Over the weekend, I spent most of my time setting up the room. <clears throat> setting up the room, getting used to the campus. Relic Hall is surprisingly big. It's got uh, this huge auditorium, a student lounge, a library, I still got lo- I get lost sometimes, even with the map, but I'm slowly getting used to it. I haven't been able to check out the academy building yet. It's been off limits since the school opened its door, but it's recently been available for students. I'm dying to see who'll be in my classes. That same chill I fe <laughs> felt where I first, um, first got here snuck up on me again. I'm getting goosebumps, let's do this! Alright. Ready to get some breakfast before the big day? We're heading to the main cafeteria? No better place, right? Oh. Oh, can Shadow come with us? I have heard some people in the lobby saying it's against rules to have Pokemon outside the room unless they're in a Pokeball or we got the school's permission. So, it's easy, right? We can bring Shadow as long as he stays in his Pokeball. Oh god, he's pissed! <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe not. Uh, what's up with him? He's just really does like his his Pokeball. Even if I do manage to get him in, he just finds another way to get out. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Shadow's got an attitude. Sorry, Shadow, but you gotta have to stay on until I get here until I get back. Unless you want to come along in your Pokeball. Aw, don't be stubborn. All right, suit yourself. There's some food in my drawer. Don't, um, but don't eat all of it at once. We'll get back uh, after classes are, are over. Mm. And don't sneak out and follow me. Got that? Pika Pikachu. Ellipses. Alright, man. Time to roll. All good food's gonna get taken. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's uh, see you later, Shadow. He probably might get out. I don't know. I have a feeling. Maybe not. Oh, Torino and Clive. I mean, not Torino. The Shrabs, Trevor and Clive. Trevor and his roommate Clam uh, were chilling at the entrance waiting for us. We agreed to meet him uh, heading over to the student center cafeteria together. 
The three of, uh, three of them are all from Carlos, and in <clears throat> in the past weekend, I learned quite a bit from their home region and how it's different from Kanto. None of them have ever been to Kanto before, so they asked a lot of questions, especially Trevor. I swear, they treat us uh, Kanto guys like we're an endangered species. I wonder how many other people are from Kanto aside from me and Blue. Well, I'm sure I'll find out later today. Contact updated. Huh, cool. Damn, this is fancy. Oh, that's new. i never seen that before, and I don't think that vendor was here before, too. I mean, my school in Palantar didn't even have a cafeteria. There's a food line line up with names that I can't even pronounce, and it's big enough that it's easily seated to at least a couple hundred students. There's a ton of people here already, but I see plenty of open seats. Hmm. Yo, lock up. Um, did you know when, uh, did you know you and Kalima are both in the same class? Oh? That is right. I heard you picked flying for one of your electives. I picked fighting and flying. It sucks, I really wanted to pick flying too. Did you know your type of preference can be tied to your personality? Oh yeah, I remember he, he was mentioning this before. Alright, say a walk for in instance. What is about the sense of rhythm and harmony? There is so much gracefulness as there is the chaos of rolling waves. So, for water type enthusiasts, their strengths lie in finding that balance and harmony in chaos, all while making sense of it all. I like what you're thinking, Trevor. I really do. Flying means the love of freedom. Oh my god, yes, it does. The love of freedom. And this can be a physical freedom, artistic freedom, freedom of choice, you name it. When we say the sky's the limit, there's no phrase flying Pokemon trainers take lightly. You can consider that their mantra. It does feel a little weird listening to all that and trying to apply that traits to yourself. Obviously, you shouldn't limit yourself to certain ways of thinking or acting, but I rarely find people who are nothing like their Pokemon types they prefer. Thanks for the insight. Yeah! I can't do it, no. Oh god. Oof! Some girl just made a beeline. <laughs> I clam, uh, clam, and nearly tackled him to the floor. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Clam, are you. Hey, it's uh, Sharana. Okay, wait, Sharana? Oh, hello, Sharana. Oh, wow, it's Trevor and Tarina, too. But who's the guy with, with the hat? Um, I always. Mm, Thought that was your gimmick, Clan. I think I've heard uh, heard about her somewhere. Did you bring her up before, Torino? Did I? Hmm, I don't remember, but it would be crazy if I did. <laughs> oh. I mean, we're all from Carlos, so it's natural I might have said something about her, you know? Really? So everyone standing here before me, uh, but me, is from Carlos? Yep. I mean, yep. <laughs> this is awkward. What's with all the colors getting so many kids in here? This place isn't exactly the easiest school to get into. Does this uh, mean that Carlos is some insane high school, uh, high class, high society regent? Hmm. <laughs> Clop and Trevor. And Trevor look at the fit and description of an upper class men, kids, but Torino. What's up? Is this something on my face? Oh no. Did I get another zip? Where is it? I can't look at it on my first day on class. Oh god, get it off. Oh gosh, <laughs> the phrase never judge a book by its cover and never been more uh, appropriate than now. Oh god, <laughs> your face is clean, Torino. Oh, why did you, didn't you say so, buddy? Uh, like I knew you had an imaginary zip phobia. Hey, uh, what are you two whispering about over there? Whispering? <laughs> Who's whispering? We're not whispering. But, um, but hey, uh, I don't think you've met a walk up yet. I sure haven't. Put it there. Yeah, Shaman doesn't even wait for the responsible uh, response before she yanks my in, in my hand and shakes it mercilessly. Whoa, you got a big hands, so you're a walk up. That's a cool name. Uh, where are you from? Wait, I'm from Gunners. I fell over the town. Too exciting. It's a, it's kind of far away, so, but so worth it getting here. <laughs> hey, what election did you choose? I choose Dragon first, but because of... Wow, they're amazing. But I think myself as a, a, fi a fairy type girl and... Ahem. Um, we were probably stood, stood around here long enough. You can acquaint yourself with a walker while we're eating. 
Yes. Uh, but yes, good point. Uh, let's let's eat <clears throat> so we can start making our way to the academy. <laughs> You're right. I'm starving. Shanna something, right? I never met anyone so energetic before. Aside from you. Yeah, she seems really nice. Hey, you guys coming away? <laughs> They're serving slow poke tails today. I'm not missing that out on them. Wait, no, those are mine. You touch those and you're dead to me. You eat those? Ew, just kidding. They don't deserve. Uh, they don't serve them here. There's no such thing as a downtime with the these guys. At the very least, I should be able to build some serious stamina this school year. It's clear we're not the only ones who are anxious that there are many other students running around in a frenzy, some with the breakfast, uh, breakfast still dangling from the, their mouths. Back home or any other region, I doubt it's possible to find so many students as excited about their first day as, they, um, as the ones here. Transition. Are we gonna get a CG of them eating to get- oh no, we gotta meet the other two, May and uh, I forgot the other guy. Oh, okay, this used to be the first, like, the title screen right here. In the previous dinner. Wow, this area of the campus is amazing! Oh. I look up at the symbols embossed in the fat Katie. Kabukin Academy! Supposedly, this building has been around nearly a century. It's hard to believe that the condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. Hmm. I'm having a difficult time imagining that this is what it'll, <clears throat> this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Not to mention I'm com not to that I'm complaining. I'm just excited to be here. <clears throat> First thing on the agenda is to check the homeroom's assignments, right? Right, guys. They left me. Huh? 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 Oh. Uh, uh oh. I was so deep in thought I didn't realize I'm alone. Maybe I walked too fast, or they're just ahead of me already. Eh, whatever. I need to get inside and check my homeroom assignments. On we go. Transition. Oh! Huh? Alright, get the Panchi Manchi huh? We're gonna meet Leaf here again. He figure a big guy like Tarina would be hard to miss, but I still don't see him anywhere. Trevor, Climb, or Sharana anywhere to be found either. There's a cluster of students gathering in the bulletin board. There must be a homeroom list. Yeah, Awaka. Oh my god, I got Oak. Yay. Of course I would get Oak. Hmm. I quickly scanned through Professor Oak's list and I immediately spot my name at the bottom. Well, I can't say that I'm a surprise. It's also different, uh, different front font. It's like a last minute addition to Oak's class. Let's see who else is in my class. Well, well, well. Oh god, not this asshole again. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time. At least you look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> but, <laughs> wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but it's that natural. So, which class are you si uh, uh, Are you in? Your grandpa's according to this. How did you miss my name? Oh crap, I just said blue who up. He's gonna say something really con uh, condescending like my name isn't even worth at a glance. Or maybe not. Gramps, are you serious? I guess it's kind of surprising for the both of us to get uh, in the same class, considering that the huge number of students in, in our year. I wonder if Professor Oak set this up himself. I hope he's not getting um, gonna be playing any favorite uh, this year. Why? I thought I told him to. Uh, 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 who cares? Uh, now I have a uh, have a front row seat to watch your you bombing class. Oh, you're all in pr with Professor Oak. That voice. Of course. Great flaming motorists. It's that girl. Hmm. Uh, I sure wish I knew her name so I can offer more than a feel feeble hand waver, a wave, whatever. My bad. Hmm. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we were done with that. Didn't you say you had fun? Hey, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this windbag? Uh, excuse me? Don't interrupt the girl when she's talking to her friend, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, but I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... 
Dot dot dots. She leans over and whispers in my ear. She's so close that I can smell that fragrant fragrance coming off her. Psst. What's your name again? Uh, way too close for comfort. M m uh, it's a walk-up. And, um, I'm a firm believer in personal space. Ah, yeah, a walk-up. What besties? Always been. Uh, you're not fooling anybody. Yeah, we're uh, best friends. Um, it's, it's Leaf. Thanks, but please, personal space? Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh my god, you better cut that crap out. Your acting is so bad, it's pissing me off. Give it a rest, Blue Who. I know who Leaf is. I ran into her on our first day here, and she helped me out out of a tough spot. And we both, uh, mm, short on time, so we've forgotten to introduce ourselves. Now I gotta give some ratatas ass. <laughs> what happened? Ah, uh, you two have wasted my time enough today. I got places to go and things to do. Smell ya. Ah, oh, you prick. Smell ya? What does that even mean? It's Blue, or... <clears throat> as I do call him, Blue Who. He said that for as long as I'd known him, and I'd known him for a long time. Not that I'm practically proud about it. So he's been smelling ya for a long time? What a creep. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> let's, let's go, Walker. We'll be late for our first class. And transition. Leaf, huh? And Blue Who? And, and me? In the same class for the next two hours? Every day for the next year? Ah, ellipses. This is gonna be quite a semester. Transition. And we get Professor Zog's voice. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill my voice again. Mm. Following Leaf, we entered our homeroom class 1B. And damn, this place is rivalry, uh, rivals royalty. Mm, I feel crazy out of place. Imagine everything else on the campus. The class is big, like really big. And the uh, chandeliers hanging from the ceiling? Fancy, high society. Uh, I don't even want to think about how much those cost. Along with the marble walls, I see the painting of Pokemon that I recognize from books and TV shows. I wonder if I'll be able to see any of them here. May! Oh, there she is. I can't believe you're wearing the same home homeroom. Awaka, this is my roommate May. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Awaka. Hey, she's kind of cute. I know that look. Careful, Awaka. She's taking. What? Well, I didn't do anything. Brendan's completely harm harmless. He's really a social guy, so I'm sure he'll love to meet you. Is he in this class too? Brendan's uh, in class 1A next door. Oh, in Birch class. Alright, here we go. Here we go with all right, <clears throat> my best Professor Oak's impression, even though that's nothing compared to what he actually sounds. Alright. Mm. <clears throat> you should all, you should all tell to your father, May, that his recent uh, article re regarding the pros and cons in, in invasive bug Pokemons and biological controls as he's been and uh, well reserved. I'm impressed. Professor? Hello, Owako. Great to see you settled in nicely. I guess my dad's work is in the field. It's been paying off. Don't forget Max. Like, Max should be. It. Well, no. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. For the least, uh, last couple of years, if not a swarm by uh, Vedrils chasing him around, it'd be an Adrotus of that, or the occasional Scyther. Oh my god, I love Scyther. Ah, are you well versed in the bug types, May? I assumed you gained a lot of experience while assisting your father's work. I wouldn't go that far. I'm not interested in bug types to begin with. Seems May knows Professor Oak through her father. I wonder how many more students know that st uh, the staff through personal connections. I see. Excuse me. So, what Pokemon types will you three be focusing on this year? Fire and fighting. Grass and electric over here. Flying water for me. Excellent choices all around. Well, I hope you all are ready. The bell will begin soon, so go ahead and find yourselves a seat. Alright, that wasn't bad. Let's sit together, man. What do you think of Leaf, Walker? Absolutely charming. 
<laughs> she's a lot of fun to be around. Come sit by us. Well, I sure as hell won't sit by Blue Who. I'm glad they accept May's offer. Transition. Morning. Oh, oh, that's new. That's new. Alright, cool. Good morning and welcome to your first class in the Kapukin Academy. I'll be your teacher for this homeroom. You can call me Oak. <laughs> oh, but most people simply call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. <clears throat> I think I could skip this part. You are all smart enough to know what Pokemon are. I can't, I can't believe we're here and Professor Oak talk right in front of us. This man's a legend. I know, my dad's a huge fan of this. He's got a lot of encyclopedias, A to Z. Oh man, he's gonna flip when I tell him I'm in his class. Even outside of Kanto, everyone knows him. I didn't know he was looked up by so many people. He's like a superhero to them. But to me, he's just my neighbor. Now, something you need to know about this class that is extremely difficult. Last year, almost half of the class failed. What? That's crazy. Holy crap. Uh, all of a sudden, I don't feel like being in this class anymore. Yes, this class is challenging, but if you put into work and keep your studies, you should be able to pass with flying colors. My job is not to assist you on assign you on failing grades, but my job is not to cuddle with you either, bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. My job is to make sure you graduate this school with the knowledge and skill to excel the Pokemon world. Which brings me to my next point. As you all know, Kapukin is a very selective school and it's the man you give your best at all times or you will be surpassed by your peers. The graduation rate for this school is roughly 30%. It is not for the weak, willed, and or unmotivated. 30%? Did he say 30%? Like, 3 out of 10? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> is, is this a joke? What kind of school life is this? I wasn't hearing things. I tend to look at May and her mouth is hung and open in disbelief. Leave looks frozen in shock too. On the other hand, a blue who's leaning back in his chair with the same smug look on his face. Ahem. Yes, I just wanted to clear that up. Now, are you any are any of you are interested in competing in the Pokemon League after you graduate? Just by show of hands. A few dozen hands shoot up immediately. Blue who has his hand way up there. There's no surprise. There, what is surprising is that Leaf has her hand up too. I don't look like a whim, so I'll put mine up. <laughs> Take a good look at them. Now everyone is in the two middle section. Put your hand down. There are a few ten students that left their hands raised. I think I know where this is going. That is the percentage that who will actually qualify in the Pokemon League. And it is even in the less of those who can make it there. Now. Do not let it discourage you. Let's start with some... Professor Oak starting at something or someone. Yes, did you have the question? <clears throat> ha! I'm just gonna say it right now. For all those quitties in this room. Oh god dang it. I'm gonna get, mm, I'm gonna get to the Pokemon leads and there's no chance in hell I'm that I'm not. God, why does he always have to be like this? It hasn't been 10 minutes since class started, and he's already trying to t start something. He tries to too, um, too hard to be cool and fails so hard at it that it's sickening. I'm not stopping until I whip the floor with every single regional Pokemon League champion. You're looking at the next world champion. Please, sit down. Uh, uh, what was your name again? What? Gramps, it's me. Yes, I noticed you, but what was... It's Blue Who! <laughs> Amusement spreads throughout the class and from the outbursts. Uh, oh, no, hey, anyway, sit down! Man, what a load of. Uh, I can't believe. Blue Who shoots me in icy glare. I see you too, bitch. Fight me! 
oh snap, I just grinned and gave him a thumbs up. Yeah. I just made him matter. I'm liking this class already. Right then. I think that's enough talking. I'll take roll now. Uh, Rana, while you're all in a good mood. May. Is May here? Present. Present. There you are. Hilbert. Here. Okay. Now, Whitney. Oh, yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> Whitney, are you here? Uh -huh. Absent on the first. What? Oh, there she is. The milk tank. Hey, girl. A red haired girl came rolling through the door. It was really a dramatic entrance, and she was posing like she just finished an acro uh, um, acrobatic stunt at the Poker Leathon. Here I am, I'm not late, I was just waiting for the perfect time to make my grand entrance. She calmly sits uh, in the empty and chair in front of me, like nothing happened. I have to say, I'm impressed with her ability to keep a straight face after that performance. Please continue. Uh, right, I'll mark you on time. But no more of that, do you understand? Yes sir, you can count on me. Very good. Now, Felina. Um, I'm here. Uh, God. Sorry, I'm not a big fan of mornings. Fine or not, try to get in class sometime for now on. I'll mark you on time too. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> huh, Flanerina collapses into her chair next to me. Looking at her clothes, she seems kind of intimidating. Her hair and face reminds me of some um, those bike gang chicks I see on TV. She doesn't look too good. Maybe I should say something to her. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm going to leave it off for right here for right now. We're going to see what we're going to do on this one. It's been a long episode. My voice is killing me. So without further ado, guys, I hope you guys have a good night. Good evening. Good morning from where you're from. So peace out and say now, guys. Bye-bye.